Zach Evans. Uh, I'm the president of Kai-Fi here at UCD. Um, I remember uh, the first time I met a Theta, it's, it's kind of hard to remember the, the exact person you met. The first time I met a Theta? The first time I met a Theta. The first time I met a Theta. The first Theta that I really got to know. So the first time I met a Theta. The first Theta that I met. The first time I met a Theta. Um, the first Theta I met. First time I met a Theta. The first time I met a Theta. One of my first experiences with a Theta. Well, uh, first Theta I met. When I was in Swab, I really started to meet a lot of people on campus. Uh, a lot of people happen to be in Greek life. And Thetas are so involved on campus that it was so easy to come across them when I was working in Swab. And uh, I really just got to really love the people I worked with, um, and a few of those people ended up being Thetas. Um, so it's, it's hard to define who the first person was. First time I met a Theta was actually before she became a Theta. It was at her freshman orientation. Um, I was recruiting her for UTD TV at the time. Uh, it's Casey Sublet, actually. And um, she ended up becoming a Theta the same year that I uh, pledged Kai-Fi. Casey and I hung out a lot that year, and um, it, was, it was awesome because not only did I see her in like Greek stuff, but uh, she was one of the like top UTD TV members. It was kind of frustrating because she was a lot better of an anchor than I was for UTD TV. First time I met a Theta, she wasn't even a Theta yet. Um, it was Brooke. Uh, met her. She's one of the first people I met here at UTD. I moved here from Maryland, so she's one of the first people to kind of helped me feel welcome to Texas and uh, in this school in general. Well, I guess uh, the first time I met a Theta, even though she wasn't technically a Theta yet, um, it was Mackenzie Davis. Um, she was actually in my Comet Camp small group. Uh, we were a team Love Jack. It was uh, me, uh, Mackenzie Davis, and Michael Ebbinghouse. And um, it's just really cool because we became friends through that, and then we continued to become even closer and we all became OTMs, and then McKenzie and I served together as executive OTMs. And so we got a real close bond, and we have similar values. And it just really makes me feel good about Greek life because of someone like McKenzie being in a sorority, um, like Theta. The first Theta that I really got to know was probably Cassie. Met her doing OTM, got to know her really well, hang out with her all the time still. The first Theta I met was probably the first Theta a lot of people met. It was Mackenzie Davis. I met her at orientation, but it was just, you know, passing by. She was an OTM, I saw her. And then I officially met her sometime during the school year. So the first Theta that I met was Brianna Mayer, and that was back uh, my freshman year when she wasn't a Theta, but uh, she later became one. Uh, and I met her at freshman orientation. Uh, she's still a really good friend of mine. Uh, I love chatting with her whenever I can. Um, when I do get to that, a chance to see her. First time I met Theta was while I was working. I was driving the shuttle and I met Serena John and she made that job way more fun, just hanging out with her all the time. Now what doesn't Theta bring to UTD? Uh, they've done so much for the campus. They make uh, the community here outstanding. Um, when you look at the Greek life in general, I think the people in Greek life tend to be the most involved on campus, um, the student government, SWAB, you have orientation team mentors, uh, student ambassadors, uh, you name it. Greek life people are involved and uh, Theta I think has really led the way uh, in, in involvement on campus. Um, a lot of my really good friends in Theta uh, are in several organizations, not just one. Um, so Theta just brings so much and they even do things like their cast making tracks um, and then their CASA events, uh, all their 5Ks are absolutely a blast. So they do uh, a, n a number of amazing things for the campus, and it would be a much different place without them. Okay, Theta brings the UTD. They're, they're the girls that are like at the top of the organization. They're like the corporate girls, the girls in like suits that really plan everything out and like make everything happen. And so I think you look at any organization and you're gonna see a Theta in the EC or the, the, the higher positions. So I think they really, they organize UTD, like the, all the programs, all the life. Um, I think of a uh, bunch of beautiful, hardworking, dedicated, and ambitious women uh, that really want to make a difference. Uh, Theta brings a lot of girls to UTD. I think they have like a chapter of 60 people, right? It's a lot of girls. Capital yeah, Theta, I think, uh, brings a very nice dosage of class to the university. Uh, every Theta that I see kind of personifies that. Capital Theta, they bring a certain competitiveness that I think is good for everybody. It gives somebody to hold themselves up against and try to beat. Gosh, I just think of probably some of my favorite people. 
Um, I know, I, I just absolutely love working with capitators, especially as social chair. Um, they just get stuff done. I know, uh, you know, I ask them a question and within seconds they have it done, or I, I ask for a simple task and they come up with a whole spreadsheet uh, of how to do it. Um, so yeah, I guess with, with capital theta, I think of just going above and beyond, um, which is really why I just love working with them because things just get done. Uh, we have awesome planning sessions. I didn't, I didn't even meet their last social chair, Allison Klein, um, in person, and we still managed to plan a mixer completely over Facebook with like full detailed, um, one of the most prepared mixers I've been to in a really long time. I guess I'd give a shout out to Casey Sublet. Uh, I've really gotten to know her uh, this semester. She's been in a couple of my classes and a couple of my projects. Uh, and she's, uh, she's, in, she's so involved, she's in student ambassadors. Uh, she helps start like crew program here at the JSON. She is in so much and she's well, actually, I sat down with her for a while and, and really talked, to, talked with her about you know, what she wants to do with her life and you know, why she's studying what she's studying. So she's just someone who's um, in the, the, the DMHP with me too and someone who is always uh, criticizing themselves, trying to, to look in and, and see how can I become a better person. And that really inspires me um, along with so many other people in the honors program. Uh, they're always wanting to challenge themselves, always wanting to, to do better. Uh, she's incredibly respectful, and humble, um, nice to everyone she meets. She's a, just a great friend, um, and I'm really happy that um, I was able to meet Casey. Um, and I think she represents Theta really well. I can't really say that I have a one specific person that's my favorite Theta, but I gotta say that, that they're all awesome girls, but if I had to choose, uh, I don't know. Um, Katie Truesdale and I, we were OTM bus buddies, and I don't know, Truesdale's pretty awesome, so I, I'd probably choose Truesdale, but that's if I had to choose. Other than that, I'd say that they're all, they're all awesome. Give a, a shout out to my two favorite Theas, uh, Sonia and Brooke. Um, love you guys. Um, these past uh, you know, years here at UTD have been awesome, and I'm glad I made, uh, met you guys and we became friends. I love all of Theta, but I want to give a shout out to my lovely girlfriend, Bailey. I love you so much, and I'll always take you to get Sprinkles Cupcakes. Theta, I love you. One in particular, but you all nonetheless. Uh, I want to make a shout out to Kongsha, my, my girlfriend. I love her to death. She's great. I guess I wanted to like shout out like a few special Thetas to me. Um, for example, uh, Serena, is, uh, for example, she's always been hardworking. Uh, Aradna, Danica, you know, my neighbor. She's been good friends with me for a long time now. Uh, Julia, I've known her for a long time, PLT, I remember. Um, great times with a lot of Thetas, you know, my favorite sororities. Uh, I'd have to say my favorite Thetas are Truesdale, Casey Sublet, she's cool. Mm, Mackenzie, Serena, uh, hold on. Aradana, Brooke, mm, there's a lot here. Gloria Garza, I think I met her one time. She's cool. Man, this list goes on forever. I think they're all cool. Uh, my favorite data is, again, Mackenzie Davis, just because I've known her for so long, and uh, we've been through a lot together in the course of our chemistry labs. Uh, she's always willing to listen and always offers great advice, and she's been one of my best friends. A special message to uh, Casey Sublet. I'm in a class with you right now, um, and I really hope that we do well on our tests in OPRE 3333. What's up, Mackenzie? Hope you liked all those great things I said about you. I want to give a shout out to Aaron, who I'm setting up the mixer with. I've had a lot of fun setting up this mixer with you, and I can't wait to actually go through with it on Friday. I guess I'd just like to say that um, I've really enjoyed the social week so far. Uh, and I'm really excited for all the things we're going to do, and I'm really looking forward to our Thai party tomorrow. So, uh, hope to see as many of you there as possible. We love